what is up people welcome to uh, this video and yes today we're talking about the new trailer for star wars eclipse that got shown at the game awards a couple of days ago looks really freaking awesome um I, I like i did not expect anything from star wars anytime soon because um well I expected something from Star Wars itself, not at the Game Awards, but um, like the, the contract with EA officially ends on 2023, I believe. Um, I kind of like figured they would start working on games right now to release after that game, uh, like the, the, the EA exclusivity was done, but it seems like they're really working on something right now. Um, and... They were so confident in showing it already that um, this is the trailer. I'm gonna watch it, but I'm gonna like uh, pause in between to talk about stuff as it comes up. I will leave a link to the full uh, trailer without my big hat on it in the description below the video. So no worries if you haven't seen it uh, in its entirety yet without like pauses in there. But let's have a look at it and let's just be amazed by how awesome this really looks i love it and they showed it in the beginning as well which is pretty cool so like some new species over here nobody knows nobody knows who they are so i was like what is this this looks pretty cool uh, like the beginning already looks pretty cool and then I saw Lucasfilm so I was like oh my god oh my god it is Star Wars <laughs> cool yeah this shot right here looks really cool it just it gives me, um, and it probably is not though, but it gives me such a Nabu vibe uh, to it that like the, the the buildings and everything looks really really awesome. Um, I will have a look uh, at some of the screenshots later on with some text uh, beneath them, but um, already saw them. Of course, this is like a, a, a like a temple, and you see like guards standing on roofs over here. Pretty pretty awesome shot already. Mon Calamari, Stranger, and a Duros. And um, you can see that as well. This seems to be the Mon Calamari we saw uh, in the previous shot. And the Duros looking back at like maybe this one over here or that one. Um, you see the fender, the patch up fender over here. <laughs> and this dude looks to. It could be a tire as well, though, like just some random stuff he put on in the morning, made him feel good, but it also kind of looks like a Jedi outfit there. Um, don't see anything like a lightsaber, but um, looks pretty Jedi-ish. And then this Duras looks looks total badass, uh, just one eye, and a lot of damage around the other one with an eye patch. Looks really, really badass. This one as well, like awesome shot. And then you just out of nowhere, oh, it's Star Wars, looks really cool, gives me a Star Wars feeling. And then you just see Coruscant and you see Yoda. And it just like, it it makes sense. It's in the High Republic, set in the High Republic, about 200 years before the Phantom Menace. And well, as we know, Yoda can get really old. So um, I just like wonder are you able to meet Yoda? Is this, is this some, some awesome shot at the beginning of the game in the middle of the end? What is this going to be? How is Yoda going to be involved with this? And probably your, your character in the game as well. And it just like the shot itself looks really, really freaking awesome though. A younger Yoda. How cool. Pause again. But um, <laughs> people saying this is C-3PO, um, which uh, it's 200 years before the Phantom Menace, 200-ish years before the Phantom Menace. Um, 
but it still could be C-3PO. It could be that like a lot of these parts uh, are found by Anakin and he made C-3PO out of it. Uh, could be possible. It does look like C-3PO though. And then it's almost the eclipse. That that shot right there though from the beginning like looks so cool. They're just training right there. Cool looking planet. And then you go over into this shot. Um, also looks pretty cool. You see like one planet, maybe a moon around the bigger planet. Um, it's a it's pretty uh, pretty big ocean. <laughs> and then you see like a a Naboo a Naboo fighter over here, which is also two hundred years. Before Phantom Menace, because it's probably all the same game, unless you like make time jumps, but I don't think that will happen. Um, but it seems like they never changed the design of the Naboo fighter. Uh, such a good design. Why change that shit, right? But also, really cool looking shot right here with these uh, ships. I think you see more of these smaller ships in the trailer and like a bigger ship um, over here. Pretty, pretty interesting shot. Especially like with the Naboo fighter over here. Like I just said, the, the the city gave like a Naboo feel. Is there something is there something there though that connects them? Also like that's like this one. Pretty loud though. Really cool shot. All drums, everybody's like making the beat. Looking real good. Looks really cool. You see like the... Um, is this the same planet as before though with the Naboo fighter laying uh, in the water over here? Could be the same planet. You see the same ships like I said before, like the same ship. You see them over here. Are these part of like the, the bad guy ships? Hmm, could be a thing now. Because you see this logo later on a little bit. Looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like the... the, the, the of Azkaban. <laughs> it's the prison. The Trade Federation. Also, this one looks like just so fucking crisp. Really cool. And then you see like two Jedi... Facing against like a horde of enemies. These are not the guys that are uh, playing the drums or anything, but maybe they're um, they're in their army. Maybe another species that works with them, fights for them, uh, whatsoever. Or, just, or this is just totally, completely something different, um, a different like part of the story, like a snowy planet. I do like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause it. Again, though, like the lightsabers, the, the yellow lightsaber looks really awesome. The blue one, I like this one, but this one, like a curved uh, curved saber with, uh, isn't it like something that Count Dooku had on his lightsaber as well? Like the, the front end with the, uh, yeah, how do you call it, like a guard or something? Looks really, really cool. And this one also, like the, the front end where the, the actual saber pops out. Looks really, really awesome, though. See, the, the logo comes back again. And this is like, this is... I'm sorry, though, for stopping so much right now. But that is such an amazing shot right now. The same ships again. Look at how big that army is. Whew. Impressive. Trade Federation ships again. Also, like, 200 years before episode one. So, uh, there's most definitely going to be an explanation for, like, the Starfighter, um, the Trade Federation ships and everything. Uh, because, uh, from I, like, I don't know a lot about the High Republic, but I, I, I do think they didn't have, like, the droid army yet and everything. Um, so, kind of, why have these ships? But also, if the design is really good, and uh, then why updated i guess why why change up designs 
instead of just using them for a different purpose, right? So like housing the droid army and everything. Looks pretty cool though. Like there's a lot of the, the trade federation also in the in the trailer. It's uh, uh, well, they might be a big part of the story as well. The ships again, same ships. Are these guys fighting? Like this, let's just call them the Trade Federation. Are these guys fighting the Trade Federation? That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Huh. Because I do believe that the ships we saw, like the smaller ships, they are a part of like the, the, the unknown species army. Hello, do you want to continue, please? Yeah. Didn't press well enough. And then finally, the actual reveal of how they look, which is really, really cool. Azkaban, Voldemort. This is, this is, this is, <laughs> this is the Harry Potter, Star Wars collaboration. We knew we didn't want what we have right now. <laughs> Looks pretty cool though, and I've I like I've waited a bit, watched some other videos as well. But from what I've seen so far, nobody knows who they are. It's like a totally new species, um, which is pretty cool though. Like, there's a lot of familiar um, aliens we see, like the Mon Calamari, the Duros, and everything, uh, the Nemonoids and and, um, and and Nemonoids, Nemonoidians, and and then a totally new one, which is uh, probably like the new threat. And then the black goo. Boom. The eclipse is full and that guy is popping out. That's some nice editing though, but is it actually um, like connected with each other? Is like this the, the ultimate bad guy, the leader that has been asleep until the next eclipse comes out or like the, the champion of the... the the, the enemies that has been uh, waited for until like this event will 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 pop off. Does Yoda know this stuff? That's why he's like, hmm, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna do a Yoda. I'm very bad at that. But like, is that why he's in front of the window, like looking over Coruscant, just like mm, I know stuff is going down. This is gonna happen. Uh, this this threat, this enemy is coming back right now. Looks really really cool though. And then we get it, Star Wars Eclipse. There we get it, awesome. This is the game being made by Quantic Dream, by the way. I made a video a while back, probably link it like up top here, um, on which like the 14th of December, there is um, probably like a game announcement on the Bring Home the Bounty campaign. Bring Home the Bounty campaign. Talking is so tough. Uh, from Star Wars itself, I'm kind of wondering what that will be now because um, I thought that was going to be or maybe the Quantic Dream one or the Ubisoft one, but they showed this one already. And I I don't think this will have any more information until it's like at a better uh, stage of the game because they said it's in early development right now, which could be true, could be like a cautionary tale. They don't want to say they're too far ahead already. Um so I'm kind of wondering what, what we will get on the 14th of December. Uh, hopefully something good as well. Probably won't be the Ubisoft game. They they won't announce like two major titles um, <laughs> like within four or five days of each other at like separate points of uh, like interest. The Game Awards and then bring home the bounty campaign seems a bit weird but we just have to wait this on the other end looks really cool looks really good and i think this is going to be an amazing game um underneath it it says it's gonna be set during the high republic era which i said um it's uh like a integral branching action adventure game that can be experienced in many ways and puts the destinies of multiple playable characters in your hands like how freaking fun does that sound already 
like oh my god that looks really good this is like such an awesome trailer um we can go like through some pictures real quick if we want to um playable characters they 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 highlighted some some characters already which i think could be um playable characters you might not be able to like create your own characters with which is no problem whatsoever for me but um like the mon calamari could be maybe a playable character maybe a play playable species um the 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 Duras looks really freaking i think this one looks badass though uh could be really cool it could also be like the mon calamari you saw before looked like a normal one and this one looks really jedi so um maybe you can pick like uh, uh, a race which you want to be like i want to be a duras i want to be a mon calamari i want to be plain human i want to be maybe uh one or two other characters you don't know and then have like what what is your character is it is it a, is it a space pirate is it a force user is it is it what is it is it a bounty hunter um what will it be that will be pretty cool though and then we get like that's the duras the mon calamari and this awesome looking mysterious stranger sitting in the corner which looks really cool i like the necklace around uh around the neck of course that's where a necklace is supposed to be <laughs> um looking really really cool though i thought this was a fun uh, a fun a fun uh scene as well it's like the small creatures over here and this just gives like the biggest fucking star wars feel for me i love it you see the trade federation federation as well you see him over here don't know who this is let's see uh nemoidian official looking nemoidian so you don't know who it is how like everything is connected with each other um will this game lead into uh maybe um them starting the creation of like a droid army um how will that play out i like it seems because you saw it over here you see the little plane over is that behind my big head no it's over there we good <laughs> you see that over there the ship you see it over here as well multiple of these uh smaller uh, uh ships and then you see the the azkaban looking <laughs> structure over here with the um, with the logo on it and then the logo comes back on the armor of what seems to be the bad guys but these are these might actually be different like a different race because um could be the same just the helmet though like the nose they actually have a nose where these uh these these guys they don't have a nose at all it's really snake like but they look really really cool um maybe it's a subclass of like um the army people i don't know man it looks really cool though this shot in particular looks really really awesome um so yeah i'm kind of wondering though i'm i'll just wait for more information uh when it comes out will probably take a bit of time though because they said they're in early production um so i'll probably expect something maybe next year but we also have to wait for what will ubisoft do and of course star wars jedi fallen order 2 um they are working on that one as well i don't know if they have a release uh window uh, for that one let me let me look it up real fast they probably won't have like something up they said they will show more of that next year like 2022 so um there's there's cool stuff coming for star wars games this is the first game they show outside of the ea license which is well the first like major title outside of the the ea exclusivity license which is pretty cool and um i'm, I'm kind of like it's awesome to see what they can do when i don't want to be an asshole but like when ea is not involved respawn made an awesome game and i credit respawn for that not ea i'm going to be i'm going to be an asshole about that though they made an awesome game but like seeing a totally different studio and their vision so far on star wars is it, it just looks really really good as always though let me know what you think about this game 
in the in in the comment section down below. Let me know. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. <laughs> bye bye.